Okay, um, before we really get into the chain rule, I just want to let you know something really important. And this actually applies to every single derivative um, that you've done so far. Okay, um, you might not have known it, but basically what the chain rule does is we kind of take a function like x, x to the fourth power and we treat it like it's one function inside of another. Okay. And basically, what I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this one as I'm gonna treat this one, sorry, as one x raised to the fourth. Okay, so on the whole, I've got you know a function raised to the fourth power. You know, I've got an exponential function, um, and then on the inside, I've I've got a linear function. In a sense, you know, so so I'm gonna just kind of pretend like it's two functions, okay? And what the chain rule says is I'm gonna take the derivative of the whole thing, you know, the, the whole outer function, and then I'm going to go back and I'm gonna take the derivative of the inside of the function, okay? So if we were uh, looking at this function, Okay, one times x all raised to the fourth power. Okay, basically what what I'd want to I'd want to do is my formula would be you know the the power rule. It would be the formula that I use, but I'd want to use it on basically the outside. I'm not quite really sure how to say it without just doing it. You know, so let me just do it. Okay, well we know the formula is going to be four. Okay, then we're also going to go on the inside. We're going to take the derivative of the inside. So what's the derivative of 1 times x? Well, it's just 1, isn't it? Okay, so let's uh, simplify this a little more. Okay, um, 4, obviously 1 times x, you know, we can, we can write that a little easy. Uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, that's not a problem. And... Multiplying by 1, well, if we didn't do it on the inside, we're not going to do it on the outside. So, we end up with 4x to the third. Okay, so, you know, that, that's kind of how you, you, you think about it. Okay, and you can kind of think about it as maybe a substitution. You could say u equals x. Okay, you could say u is equal to x. And then I could go ahead and take the derivative, which would be 4u to the third. And then I'd take the derivative of x. Okay, then I'd take du dx of x, and that would be equal to 1. And then I go over here and I multiply by 1. And I'd rewrite my term and my, my answer in terms of x. And that's really a lot more confusing, isn't it? So we don't really we don't really talk about doing things like that you know we just kind of use the power rule and we go okay um, so you know it, it gets a little different though uh, but but really you know every single uh, you know formula you know so far has actually included that okay and I'm gonna show it to you right here with a sine of X okay y equals sine of X so dy dx equals cosine of x multiplied by the derivative of x which equals cosine of x times 1 which is just cosine of x okay now let me write the same function I'm going to write the exact same function with just a little twist on it sine 2x okay let's do it so that that uh y prime is going to equal cosine 2x times the derivative of x, right? Which equals, or, oops, I, I'm sorry. Right there, okay? So that's just uh, another example of a chain rule, okay? Um, this is a pretty common one. You'll see this um, 
you'll probably see this a lot. Let's go um, y equals to the third. Okay. Well, let's go here. What, what's what's the derivative of this of this thing going to be? Well, first. And it doesn't matter, you can go from the inside out or the outside in. I think it's personal preference, and I think it, it also is gonna depend on the problem, okay? Sometimes it might be a little easier to work from the outside in, sometimes it's a little easier to work from the inside out, okay? It, it you know, what's gonna happen is this, this thing's gonna get big really quick, especially if there's more than one power, okay? Um, you know, it, it's going to get pretty big, pretty quick, and you know, you're, you're going to want to keep track of things. So it, it's it's up to you to kind of figure out if you're going to go from the inside out or the outside in. I'm going to go from the inside out. Okay, so I'm going to go y prime, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go six x. That's just derivative there plus four. Okay, and that's multiplied by the derivative of the whole thing, which is three. 3x squared plus 4x to the second, okay? Now, in the back of your book, at least in the back of my book, these guys would always, the mathematician guys, would always put the answer in some weird form. So, you know, the poor student who's just learning how to do this stuff, you know, it thinks they got it wrong when they may have actually got it right. So... Um, that plays back into the algebra skills again. Um, you know, I, I can't stress enough, you know, being able to manipulate uh, your final answer. and Maybe try and see if you can't make it look like the one in the back of the book. Oh, and by the way, speaking of algebra skills, I mean, you know, let me zoom out here. I'm just going to zoom out real quick just so you can see this thing. But how much calculus have we really done here? I mean, where's the calculus? I'll circle all the calculus here. And there's one. The rest of this page is all algebra, isn't it? You know? Oh, there's another one right there. There's some more calculus. That's really it, you know? I mean, this this isn't anything that you haven't done before. I mean, it, it's new, this stuff, but as far as, like, the mechanical part of, you know, uh, manipulating these equations, I mean, notice how it's pretty much all algebra. I mean, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to, you know, keep keep your algebra um, handy. Okay, so um, that that's. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and conclude um, our uh, what is the chain rule thing. Um, you know, just just a crude intro to it. You know, nothing crazy, and and we'll do more examples. And I think that's the best way to learn it. Um, and some teachers want you to do a proof of it or kind of an informal proof um, if you're having trouble with that just leave a comment a message whatever and i'll uh, i'll get that whipped up for you all right see you in the next video